Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel and I am Deb Chanel and welcome to my channel. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to my video channel yet, please do so. Like and share my videos. And we're going to go in and get into an article that Urban Bell Magazine brought out to us. And I think it's Miss Niles over there breaking the showstoppers out for us. Uh, get my phone together here. Uh, Amanda, yes, Amanda Anderson Niles is over there slamming them, slamming them out for us. Them stories, the articles that she puts her spin on and then releasing to us. Then I pick up on it, I read it. Just the first few um, uh, notices of her article title, and I ascertain whether or not I want to sit there and cover it. And then when it sparks my intellect i'd be like okay i gotta call the family over and get their opinions as well as we dive together into this sea of mess okay because that's all gossip entertainment news is a bunch of mess but you take it for your own edification and understanding and you digest it okay accordingly but you probably want to get something to eat and drink while you taking in all this stuff because it can get a little long-winded over here and then it can be where you want to just be on like last so hard you spit your food out your mouth okay type of scenarios but we're gonna go on and get into it because you know i know y'all don't like when i tear it but we do try to go in each paragraph and when i feel like i want to say something i stop right then and there and we cover it and then i get back to the article that's just how we float over here so get into it all right but uh amanda titled her article real housewives of atlanta star can you more questions budding friendship with portia williams and to my understanding what friendship are you talking about <laughs> you and miss portia king and portia you both like the screen you like the fame you like the fortune you like the environment that you're in that being on this platform of real housewives of atlanta garners you uh to be uh so happy and in love with yourselves okay totally vain way of looking at it but it just is what it is y'all like to be out there and people call you up by name and you love that attention and i understand it. you like putting yourself in a fishbowl that's all cool all right but to try to make the viewers feel that y'all have a true friendship Come on now. Now, if Kenny want to throw them lies out all day long, Portia will receive them and then regurgitate them when she leaves. <laughs> okay? Portia already knows this is just a game. This is just my paycheck. These are really not my friends. I'm, I may can say maybe Shamia and Tanya Sams may be someone she does actually uh, hang out with in those Atlanta streets or in Jamaica or Florida or Mexico or anywhere like that. She probably does spend some quality time off camera with those two people, meaning uh, Tanya Sams and Sh uh, Shamia Morton. Okay, but the rest of them clowns on now, she paid them dust. She films with them. She gives them the courtesy of being cordial and she might have a little kikis here and there, but she knows, she knows, she knows. Okay, so the friendship that they're trying to say with Kenya putting her spin on it, no, they just have an understanding that they're not going to get on each other's nerves and that they're not going to put, meaning Portia's not going to put hands on her. Because <laughs> Miss Kenya is the one who actually had to make her go um, by attacking her in a sense and wouldn't let her go, shaking her every which way but loose, okay? Portia wouldn't let her go, y'all. But anyway, that sent Portia to have to take some classes in her demeanor, her attitude, and how she uh, handles her anger. Okay, you just can't put hands on nobody. That's what Portia had to learn in one of these little counseling sessions. Like, no, 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 no. Count back from 10 to 1 if you find yourself calling yourself getting a little upset and you want to swipe somebody up. No, that's not good. Count down. Breathe. In and release. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She probably took a lot of classes teaching her those type of instructions when she called herself getting a little heightened, a little upset, a little where she feels she needs to grab a hold of some human being, okay? And as you say, shake 
them every which way but loose. But anyway, let's go on and get into this article that was put out on the 20th. That means today, um, Martin Luther King birthday, uh, January 20th. She goes in to say, Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Kenya Moore has been chasing plenty with... Uh, I'm sorry, not chasing, but clashing plenty with Nene Leach. She also has a few brewing with Tanya Sands. However, her friendship with Candy Burris and Cynthia Bailey remains solid. Really? Those are your informants. Those are your sources. Those are your people that give you information that they can infiltrate any type of setting with other people that you don't too much like. They go and get the dirt, dirt and bring it back to you. That's what you like, Kenya. Let's be real realistic about it that's what you really like okay and going back to the article it says at the beginning of the season Kenya and Portia Williams revealed they were working on a friendship okay what type of friendship I have no idea I think it was just supposed to be for filming purposes and since they both had babies they have similarities in that aspect since both of their men but we do know um What's her name? Dennis was cheating on her. He didn't admit it at first, but then, you know, people had video, audio on his behind, going to the vlog, was bringing it out left and right. So he just pretty much had to admit to it. So it would die down in the ways of trying to find out who he was messing with, um, you know, out the scene. But, you know, good vloggers or bloggers, they find out the information, they pay for the information, and they get it out there on social media. So people like me on the lower level can get out there and get my opinion on it and then uh, offer it to the family because it's a family affair over here. I always want to hear what y'all got to say, too, because you might rebut me like, I don't know why you saw it that way, Deb. That ain't how I saw it, but let me tell you how I saw it, Deb. And then we just go, you know. And, and dialogue that way. We do it all respectfully because, you know, family, we get into it here and there. But we know at the end of the day, we got to come kiss and make up and go on about our daily lives and see each other for the next video. Okay? That's just how we do. But anyway, going back to um, the article, it says, At the beginning of the season, Kenya and Portia revealed they were working on a friendship. However, it appears Kenya Moore may now be questioning things. I don't know why she questioned them because this was a setup from the beginning. You don't have friends, can you? You have associates. You have constituents. You have colleagues. You have friends, okay? You know a lot of people, but you don't really treat people the way you want to be treated. So, no, you just have associates. I'll put it like that. But going back to the article, it says, after the latest episode aired, Kenya wondered how authentic the budding friendship is. In fact, she feels like Portia doesn't defend her, and that bothers her. Well, Kenya, let's put it this way. Why would anybody want to stick their neck out for you besides Cynthia and Candy, uh, knowing they're going to get it chopped out? Because you could turn on them in any minute. You could be just like that surfer running around there, and you feel like you're being cornered, and you just see everybody as your enemy, and you start biting everybody. I mean, come on now. You're the uh, least person a friend should be able to make friendships with because you always destroy them somehow, some way. It just falls apart, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Portia Williams and Kenya Moore's relationship have involved plenty on the latest season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. They're talking about season 12, okay? At the beginning of the season, they confirmed that they were working on becoming friends. However, Kenya may already be questioning things. Oh, like she would, like she would, okay? But does anybody ever question her friendship? Does anybody ever question her motives of why she get down the way she do every time we roll the tape on her? Does anybody question why she has to bring all of the latest relationships down who are seemingly on camera that they're happy in their relationships, be it uh, fiancés, be it marriages, or be it boyfriend and girlfriend? She's already on the next episode saying, honey, men are all dogs pretty much, and they always cheat. I'm like, are you talking from experience, Kenya? Enlighten us, baby. Are you talking from experience? Is there anything that you want to suggest to tell us about you and Mark's uh, condition of your so-called marriage. Do you want to relate, 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 
release, 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 and then relax, baby. Relax, relax, okay? I just, I don't understand. I want to understand you, okay? But you're not giving us nothing. You don't even give us a tenth of what you could give us so we can have a little empathy and sympathy for you. Some type of compassion, okay? But you like to play that one woman island. You are a woman. Here you roar. You don't need anybody. You're so independent, the only thing you need is your baby girl and y'all are against the world. Okay? <clears throat> that is pretty sad. That's a pretty way, a sad way of seeing yourself. Okay? That you're going to wrap your arms and, and, and you're going to wrap your love totally for your daughter and you don't need nobody else. Because, see, can you, that situation and ideal, uh, ideology that you're going by is flawed flawed beyond comparison because guess what baby girl brooklyn is going to grow up she's going to be a nice <clears throat> and gentle kind soul out there she's going to be able to form her own opinions and make her own opinions and uh show her own viewpoints and her perspectives and they may differ greatly from what you're uh viewing things as and she's going to grow up and have her own mind she's going to be her own individual she's going to have individualistic type uh viewpoints and perspectives and she's going to be on her own she's going to be wanting to be around her friends she's going to be wanting to be away from you for some time just like teenagers do and young adults they just want to experience flying on their own without any interference from their parents you know what i'm saying so what are you going to do then because like i said you're making her your world you're building everything around her when you know you should have a life baby if the marriage is not working out for you if he in fact did cheat or whatever um because all of it's speculation. We haven't seen him with any women. We we haven't caught him with any women. You know, just out eating, having a you know nice time at a restaurant or a movie or whatever. We had not caught him in any of those scenarios. So that may be pretty uh, false that you're trying to say or you're trying to allude to from what the bloggers are saying. That he's cheated on you. He's done this. He's done that. You know what I'm saying? So, no, you can't put yourself in a position with Portia. Because her situation may be effed up at the time. But she loves that effed up man. Okay? And all that it in encounters or entails. She loves him uh, from the head to all down to his nasty feet. Okay? But you are picking and choosing what you want to say about your alleged husband. And giving us very brief ideas of how he thinks. And, you know, of course, Bravo is showing the worst side of his antics or his demeanor when he's out with you amongst the Real Housewives cast. Okay? That's all I got to say. But going back to the article, it says uh, a fan tweeted... Uh, Kenya about her relationship with Portia. They accuse Portia of shading Kenya in her green screen interviews. They don't feel as if Portia should do this if she's working on a friendship with Kenya. Now to that commenter, I'm like, just because they say this stuff on TV, just watch how they move and shake. Just see how they move and shake on this show when you're being privy to the episodes of the tapings they want to show us. Okay? Because Bravo is just fraudulent. <laughs> and they are Per messy boots every time they come and show us stuff, especially when they show us taping of things we didn't have privy of watching on the show. These are like clips that they deleted out, and then they want to play some men when they get ready, just like that cookie gate that's going on with this woman talking about she approached uh, Kenya and Cynthia and had a slight conversation uh, about Paul tried to pick her up. I'm like, Tch. Child, please go on with your editing, Bravo. We can only just digest so much before we start tearing you all down on the little fake, fraudulent, foolish fuckery y'all giving us of scenes that weren't shown during the season at the beginning. But then y'all want to place some in here and there and try to make us believe this mess. No, 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 no. I don't think Paul is that stupid enough to have somebody uh, that can come right on out. And say he cheated. No, we're going to have to chase that stuff down. People are going to have to pay for that information for it to be exposed. So, Bravo, no. We don't believe that storyline that y'all tried to play on Miss Tanya Sands. And giving it driven from Kenya Moore's mouth. All right, no. 
no, 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 no. We don't want to hear that, miss, miss, miss. No, 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 bravo. Don't want to hear that, miss. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, Kenya responded to the tweet and said that she has been feeling the same way. And she also wonders why Portia doesn't ever defend her. Check out the screenshot below. And y'all just saw it, that questions I had too, or why she didn't take up for me. Why she didn't, Kenya? I don't know. Do you have friends on this show? I don't know. I don't know, baby girl. But anyway, it just is what it is. That was a nice, salacious story by Amanda Anderson Niles. Slamming them out over there at uh, UrbanBellMag.com. Check them out for any other of your entertainment news that you want to follow that I didn't cover. And, of course, um... You know, I only cover stuff that I feel like I want to talk about, that I feel like I want my family to come in and talk with me about. And, <clears throat> of course, it's always a salacious thing over here. Uh, not necessarily slanderous, but just a so salacious, you know what I'm saying? Just eye-opening, that's thought-provoking, that of a topic we want to talk about or have little interactions with. You know, just voice our opinions here and there. Our opinions don't really mean anything. It's just coming from our... Our nuggets up here, and we kind of feel like, you know, we want to see if anybody else understand and believe the same way we do. And if not, we want to know why. We want them to give us reasoning, and that's what we do. We dialogue over here. We interact. We try to understand other people's opinions. Sometimes we agree. Sometimes we disagree. But it just is, and that's how it is over here at the family affair. Okay, and that's what it is really in your own lives with your own families that you definitely care for. And um, are there for uh, when it comes to healing or praising or, you know, just being a, a good um, family unit. You can always find subjects that you don't necessarily agree on or you don't uh, understand their way of logicing, um, not reasoning and finding logic in what they try to believe in. Whether it's religion, relationships, work uh, concerns, uh, finances or whatnot. Sometimes you have to disagree to agree or a degree on the better logical reasoning of handling a solution. So that's just pretty much what we do over here. Uh, and that's about it for this video. So y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about. Do y'all think uh, Portia Shade and Kenya not taking up for her when she needs to? Or is Kenya just being a baby and a brat and thinking everybody's supposed to take up for all her uh, ways of how she displays herself on this camera? Okay, or in social media, period. We're supposed to, like, take up for her antics when we know they're foul, foolish, and fuckery. Okay? And fraudulent at that, okay? At the best of that. Now, ain't nobody gonna take up for you, Kenya, when you're sitting up there tearing somebody else down just for the hell of it, just for ratings, just to get you a better seat at the table of negotiations when it's time to renew your contract. Now, nah, we ain't gonna fool with you like that, Kenya. Now, if you have some really logic sound advice and you need to express and you do it in a very good demeanor and everything is positive for how you present it, then yeah, we could take up for you, Kenya. But no, mm -mm, you don't do it like that. You don't, you're gonna come out like that. You don't present yourself like that. So why would we take up for you, Kenya? Or like I say, other people come out and take up for you. Hmm. Because it don't seem like you take up for nobody else. You can't be uh, happy for nobody getting married and getting proposals very romantically done to them. Because, you know, you already told them, might just pretty much like take it or leave it. You know, you want to marry me? Okay, bye. You know, and then all of these, you know, like Cynthia got a very nice proposal and stuff. And we saw your facial expressions here and there. Bravo caught that, honey. And they weren't kosher. They weren't like you were happy for Cynthia. But everybody else was sitting up there smiling, clapping and everything. So you thought, hey, I can't be seen like um, I really don't like this situation because people going to be coming to me. And I'm going to have to pretty much tell them, no, I ain't happy because I ain't happy. I don't want nobody to be happy because I ain't happy. Because that's what you're really showing us, uh, those who can see and hear, okay, appropriately. But anyway. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos, and I will see you next time. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.